resistance is futile. Boldly going where no show has gone before. This is the Week in Geek with David D. Squared, your source for geek and pop culture news that's trending now. Broadcasting from the Gregory Ricks and Associates Wealth Management Studios, here's D. Squared. Greetings, people of Earth! This is the Week in Geek, your source for geek and pop culture news that's trending now. I'm your host, D-Squared, along with... Scungy. And we have a guest in studio, Lucy Ferry. How are you tonight? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. All right. So, look, let me lay out the show. We got two, count of two guests you heard from the first one, Lucy Ferry. She is the showrunner for Anime Conclave, coming to the Sheraton in Metairie on September 14th and 15th. I remember that hotel very well. No, no, the different hotel. It's that, 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 that's, that's the the quality in. Oh, okay. We have different memories (laughs) there. (laughs) All right. Uh, David Lopan, I assaulted him yes, there, you did. and he was very afraid of me, and I saw him again, and he goes, oh, crazy white guy. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, he was not He was not happy with me. Uh, the, the con wasn't happy with no, me. No, no. That's a very bad boy. All right, but yeah, hopefully, that hopefully I will do that at Anime <laughs> Conclave, September 14th and 15th, but also we have... UFC WWE champ Ronda Rousey is also oh. our guest tonight. I finally got to talk to her. Nice. Yeah, you I, had I, to push it back. I, right, right. She had a family emergency. I didn't ask what it was. I should have. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I, privacy? Like, what's that? I yeah, don't care no. about your privacy. Uh, so, uh, But no, she's got a brand new graphic novel, which is still on Kickstarter. you got two more days uh, for the Kickstarter. They've already reached their goals. They're doing all these stretch goals. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's... It, Mike Dedeo is also uh, one of the artists on there. Raza. I mean, like, it, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that that's all out there right now. So we'll talk to Ronda Rousey to wrap up tonight's show. So, uh, yeah, we got all that going on. But first, let's do this. And now, your top nerd news stories from around the world. Brought to you by the Viridian Tea Company. Find them on Etsy. And now, your top nerd news stories. All right, you can also watch us streaming live on our Facebook channel, Facebook, The Week in Geek Radio Show. So you can watch along because we're going to play this trailer. So in honor of our guest, Lucy, and Anime Conclave, uh, Terminator Zero... Apparently, like three weeks ago, they dropped this trailer, and I, I guess didn't even hear about I it. I didn't even hear about it either. I, I stumbled across it because we were going through all the trailers for Gamescom because that'll be yeah. all in the second segment. Uh, but this one looks pretty cool. Now it, it's not, uh, uh, it's not the American version. Like so, like it, it takes place in Tokyo, oh. and, and so they're they're asking for this guy's name. I forgot, it was Harrison or whatever, or mm-hmm. Malcolm, Malcolm, and. He doesn't work for Skynet or whatever the company, Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne. He, it's a different company, but sort of the things there. So I don't know if it's like a little twist on it, but here, here let's, right. let's take a listen. Terminator exit. Malcolm. makes you think humanity is worth saving. Hey, it's like Louisiana Heat. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a Terminator, so they always have to have a burning skull. Okay. Well, yeah. And Skydance. Knowledge is power. If you understand something, it can never truly control you. Uh, that's not what G.I. Joe said. <laughs> Skynet will come battle. online. In an act of self-preservation, it will enact nuclear strikes. I believe that humanity still has a fighting chance. I believe that you have the power to change our fate. Hold on, I gotta stop it for a second. All right. Did you see the Terminator wearing a parka? Yes. Yeah. Why does the Terminator need a parka? Is it that cold? Hey, it's cold blooded, dude. It needs to, it, you know, it doesn't look, if, if it gets too cold, it's joints and it's, 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 it's gonna like freeze the tin up. The man from the Wizard of Oz. It's gonna it's freeze up. It can. Can. Well, in a Terminator, it's like, human Skynet blood, human blood. Back in time. You are the only one who can do this. Tell me where Malcolm is. Tell me if where the Joker is. If can get to Malcolm, the children will be its next target. Oh, can't let the kids get hurt. This, this scene 
they did a uh, they did a red band trailer for it, mm-hmm. and uh-huh. like just blood everywhere. Oh. They just slaughter people. It was awesome. Welcome. What are you scared of? Judgment. Judgment night. <laughs> Are those, those like mousers? Toast? Those are toasters. I thought they were mousers. Angry <laughs> toasters. Oh, there's the real Terminators. The end of the world comes tomorrow. Uh, well, good. I don't have to mow the lawn. The boom. Terminator Zero, August 29th, only on Netflix. <sighs> I, I look. So I. Right. What I, what I like about it is stuff that you can't do in cinema, like like her, like doing like like a Captain mm-hmm. Jack Sparrow, you know, on a on a rope slapping some C four on a bridge. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, it it looks like something that like they maybe they thought it was going to be more mainstream, but I mean, like because for it to come out three weeks ago and then all of a sudden like. I've seen or heard no buzz Nothing. about this show. Absolutely, Absolutely none. right. And so when I saw the trail, I'm like, "This actually looks good." You know, I mean, it's something different. It's not the same old. You know, hey, let's uh, let's dust off Arnold Schwarzenegger right. again. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> but like I said, yeah, every every Terminator, you have to have a burning skull, and you have right. to have. They always have to have one eye. That is that has been <laughs> every Terminator it can't help it. One eye is messed up. That's the yes. trademark. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, moving on, Scunji. What, what do we have? Number two. What's number that two? That would be the acolyte has been canceled. <laughs> there will be no season two. We won't find out what happened between those two. Here Ooh. we go. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh. Okay, I don't care. I, I mean, um, you know, well, it, it didn't get bad reviews. I mean, it had well, a decent it did, score. It, it was like did. a seventy-seven. Well, it, 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 it got it got review bombed to start yeah. with, and, and and people were crapping on it before they even watched a single episode. Yeah. And so, look, I, I if I don't like something, trust me, I yeah. will let you know. And and I, I I basically banned the use of the word acolyte on this show because yeah. it's just it got that bad. It was just. <laughs> Bad storytelling, bad pacing. Yeah. Uh, they they tried to put these stupid little Easter eggs in there. Uh, they made characters that you never really cared about. Uh, you know, it's just like like, hey, you like guys? Here's a guy with no shirt on. Hey, you you like you like weird looking girls? Here's a weird looking you know alien girl. It was just, I don't know what they wanted to accomplish, but they ended up trying to do too much and accomplish nothing because then you get the whole Darth Plagueis mm-hmm. being a creeper in the background. Uh, I mean, I mean, the best thing to come out of the show is your boy from The Good Place and him looking oh, yeah. all swole. It's just like, yeah, go ahead. But, I yeah. mean, he's headbutting lightsabers. Yeah. And while it looked really cool, what the hell, man? I mean, you know, I think this does do something good for the Star Wars universe. What, like it means that, that they're actually going to be held accountable now. So maybe they oh. won't, maybe they won't Look at you. Go as crazy as they've been going. They're like, look, we've been throwing everything except the ki- kitchen sink, <laughs> and it's now biting us in the butt. So let's maybe kick back on the throttle a little bit. Well, you know, just just in in, in the 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 seven eight nine or or no wait wait where, where seven, are we? seven eight nine yeah. just like like hey every every star destroyer has a Death Star laser that can destroy a planet. It's like dear God, like they up they don't know how to up the ante of 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 you know, uh, stress or whatever, yeah. you know, like, like they don't know how to up the ante except by go- bigger guns. Yeah. Yeah. Cooler uniforms. It's like, no, you know, just when everything stop. is super, nothing is super. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, it, it, that's why like Andor was so well. Cause it's like street level. That's why Mandalorian's oh. done so well. Cause it's so street level. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and I mean, look like skeleton crew, I mean, it's Goonies in space. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, I think I'm, that's going to be up, nothing I'm, more than that. I think I, it's good, meant to be just lighthearted and nothing too serious. And I know people are going to crap on it, you know, but but it, it, it's like it's one of those things where it's just like just go in and enjoy something for once, you know. I mean, just just go enjoy. The something. worst thing that happened to Star Wars are the Star Wars fans. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was uh, Sean Scungy Scuntrino. She's taking note. All and, right, <laughs> all right, moving on. All right, so this is interesting. Uh, Jack Black and Paul Rudd are in talks to star in a new Anaconda movie. An Anaconda movie. God, that movie was garbage. <laughs> so. Oh. How many garbage movies have we watched in our lifetime? But look, this this one with Jack Black and Paul Rudd heading it. So basically, it's going to be very meta. It's these two yeah. guys who love the Anaconda movie decide to re 
recreate it. You know, they're going to reboot it, and they're they're going to go down to the to the jungles of Brazil and go find themselves a big ass anaconda, and then things go sideways, and then hilarity ensues, and then you know Jack Black. I don't know. You know, I, I I'm getting Tropic Thunder vibes. Is, is it going to be addicted to the heroin again in this Maybe one? So. Hey, hey, back took my back heroin. Took, it took it took my <laughs> it took my candy. Right. I, I need to go back to the hotel. <laughs> Love that if, movie. If you've never known anybody detoxing, just watch Jack Black, and then you will know. You don't have yeah. to meet anybody who's going to detox. <laughs> just watch Jack Black do it. Uh, I'm, I'm hot. I'm <laughs> hot. I, no, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. Uh, so I, 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 that one just looks fun to me. Yeah. I, I, now, uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro. So he, he's doing Frankenstein, uh, like he's mm-hmm. filming it, and yeah. uh, like in Germany or Poland, oh, Scotland. Scotland. Oh, uh, where is he? Scotland. Scotland. Right. Yeah. Right. Is he playing golf? Yes. Okay. So he's staying in the most haunted house they have in Scotland, one of the most haunted castles, the most haunted room. He put one of his producers in there, and she's like, "Nope, nope, 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 nope." She was gone. Like she didn't even stay the whole day. She was just like, "Nope, nope." I'm hearing things. So apparently, he has been live tweeting and 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 streaming stuff, and he chickened out. He was just like, "I'm gonna. I'm, I, I decided not to sleep there because I had a long day of filming the next day, and I needed my six hours of sleep." I'm like, "You pudding, god <laughs> dang it, man!" So, but so he goes in there in the day and he takes a couple pictures. The, the shades are open; it's bright <laughs> lights. It's just like he's like, "Okay, nothing can hurt me while the sun's out." <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, it, it, it's safe for the daytime. It's safe in the daytime. Remember. So, right. So, like, like I, I, I just find it odd that the guy who's tried to to, to terrorize and scare people most of his career is yeah. now like he's like oh, i'm not afraid of that but oh it's daytime okay i'll go in there now yeah. <laughs> i'm just like you hypocrite you couldn't pay you me to hypocrite. go stay in that room i ain't gonna stay in that room i i thought about it but i'm just like yeah I, I'm, I'm probably just gonna have to pass on that nope just gonna have to pass on that all right uh moving on our final thing before we hit our break uh let me get that out of there ah stop I'm so good at this he's, job. He's wonderful. Secret Level. Now, this is a, a new trailer that dropped. Now, Scunji, tell me a little bit about it before we jump into so, it. So, Secret uh, Secret Level seems to be a show. It's going to be like a 15-part uh, anthology that seems to be based around video games where this person jumps into video games in in real life or something. And so when I first saw the trailer, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, is is, is that from Warhammer 40k? Yeah, yeah. It starts out with the uh, Space Marines. Marines. Ultra Marines. Yeah. So it's coming on Amazon Prime. Look at that. It's time. That's Sifu. This world has waited for your arrival. I don't know who that is. Yeah, it's a PlayStation game. No, the other guy, oh. the kid. It is you. You will open the door. Because you are the Chosen. Wait, Chosen from Cobra Kai? Yes. Okay. 15 stories yeah. inspired All by video games. moments. It's a new adventure. Me- is that Mega- Mega Man? That's Mega Man. <laughs> that was Kratos as well. Just boy. For Got you. a boy. Wait, was that John Wick? I do the not know. The cyberpunk version? <laughs> this just looks, like, so cool. I have no idea what's going on, but it just looks cool. Oh. Good lord. Come in. You have a game to play. All right. Woo-hoo. Hey, wait, wait, is Pac-Man in this? Yeah, I think so. Uh, right there. Pac-Man is the creature from from uh, Phantasm? Phantasm, yes. He's from that movie Phantasm? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Pac-Man is a mass murderer. So it the list of games so far that they've they confirmed that they do, you got Pac-Man, Warhammer, Concord, Mega Man, Unreal Tournament, New Real Aurora World Atrium, you got Armored Core, Splunky, Seafood, Seafood, <laughs> Seafood, Seafood, yeah, <laughs> D&D. Yeah. The Outer Worlds, which is a fantastic game, oh, Crossfire, God, Exodus, and then it just says a list of PlayStation titles. So we saw huh. Kratos, so that so it means that there's probably going to be more. But I'm like, you know, this is interesting. I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I, as a gaming and, nerd, I, I'm like. 
anthology series are are, are kind of cool because it's like something where you can just just kind of change stuff as you go. You know, yeah. like, like we we've seen how many uh, you know series. Just, just start to peter out, and like, I mean, I loved The Walking Dead. I mean, I, I never missed an episode, and then finally, it was just one day, I'm just kind of like, I'm done. I'm done. You know, yeah. and Game of Thrones is just like, what are they, what is going on now? You know, it's like I'm like, you're okay, fine. I'll watch your stupid finale. Yeah. You know, and then, but, but like the anthology series, like True Detective and things like yeah. that, it's just like. It's they, different yeah, every time. Every time, you know. So I mean, it, it, it's it's an interesting way to kind of, I guess, put more storylines out there, but. Mm-hmm. Interconnect them, you yeah, know, without trying to do like Marvel did yeah. and make an, uh, a nine movie, you know, sprawling, you know, yeah. storyline where it's like, well, you have to go watch a Iron Man two to understand this. Season. It's like, I right, come on, man. Yeah, like, I, fortunately, I watched them. I know, yeah. but <laughs> I don't. I don't the, know if I have for it the in layman. Me again. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's like, like for for my ex wife, you know, yeah. I'm gonna be like, like, hey, Colleen, we're gonna watch. I don't even know. Just no. know. I don't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Why are you in my house? <laughs> so, all right. When we come back, is the music playing? No. Nope. There, there you go. Goes. All right. I played this country song twice last week. You didn't. You don't notice what music's played? You don't tell me these things? I don't work here. All right. Fair point. All right. When we come back, uh, we're going to do the Gamescom coverage. And then we've got Lucy Ferry live in studio. Anime Conclave, September 14th and 15th. What's the website? AnimeConclave.com. Yeah, get your tickets now before they sell out to the Sheraton in Metairie. All right, and then we got Ronda Rousey to close out the show. This is The Weekend Geek with D Squared on News Talk 99.5 WRNU. More powerful storms. The absence of El Nino. With more major hurricanes. Means you'll need a more powerful source for life-saving information. Be with us every step of the way. During a hurricane, that weather app just won't cut it. Operation Stormwatch from News Talk 99.5 WRNO. I need real-time storm updates. To keep my family safe. On air and on the free iHeartRadio app. My severe weather station. News Talk 99.5 WRNO. No one quits. This is Casper Van Dien, Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers, and you're listening to the Week in Geek Radio Show. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? Kill them all. You know what to do. Service guarantees citizenship. Welcome back in to the Week in Geek, your source for Starship Troopers and Johnny Rico, <laughs> baby. All right, so as always, we want you to follow us on uh, the Facebook page. We're streaming live the Week in Geek Radio show on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Twig Radio and the Instagrams, the Week in Geek. Hey, Scudgy, how can people listen to this show? Well, if you missed any part of tonight's show or if you want to hear your favorite part again, you can always find us on uh, Spreaker.com or download Spreaker for your smartphone or tablet. We're also on Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, and the beautiful, wonderful iHeartRadio app with the candy like red button. Well, hello there. Yes, you too can click that little red microphone button. Leave us a 30 second message on. Uh, are, are, are you happy that the acolyte got that's canceled? That's a good. That's a good. That's uh, a good. You know, I'm, you I'm know. curious because I'm sure yeah. most of we can be like, screw that. Well, yeah. I didn't like that one. But I'm, I, I'm curious. I want to hear what somebody else thinks because they, they, they tried to tease us with all these stupid storylines, yeah. and now we'll never get closure. Yeah. It's just like, like when uh, Space Above and Beyond got canceled oh. back in like 1994 or whatever. Yeah. I was at Southeastern in college watching it. I'm like, yay, space on regular TV! And they leave it with a, a cliffhanger. And we never know what happens after that. So, yeah, click that little it's red still microphone. Still a little sour, button. huh? Well, hello there. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, so moving on, we got some Gamescom stuff, but... Johnny Rico. Johnny Rico? Johnny Rico. Starship Troopers Extermination. Now, there was a, not Slytherin, it was something. Remember I had the the, the creator of uh, 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 Fantasy General, like, like yeah. they, they, they remade it. Yeah. And uh, so they had a RTS, a real-time strategy for Starship Troopers. And I cannot play that because I'm a spaz and I got no hand-eye coordination. But this is a first-person shooter. You never forget your first drop. Never. Reinforcements inbound. 
Hang tight, demons. Rico's Roughnecks! Hoo-ah! Ratchet's Roughnecks! From the moment those doors open up... You're changed. The only good bug is a dead bug. Everything changes. Let's go, troopers! Move up! Hoo-ah! And let me tell you, when it hits the fan... Aren't they coming? It ain't the Federation you're thinking of. Oh, oh, roly -poly. Was those doodle bug? Yeah, together. the little roly polies, they blow up. Extraction inbound. Those who what, fall. What, it's a screamer? Yeah, I guess. And those who stay behind. So we can fight another day. Get to the drop ship, troopers! Get to the chop up! Get to the chop up! <laughs> uh -oh. Tanker! This, yeah, is why we fight. You know what to do. You know what to do, Rico! Do it! Do it! Extraction complete. This is great. Yep. Three. Third wave ready, command. Third wave ready! Let's go get more people yeah. killed! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm excited because it's yeah. coming out on Xbox. It's coming yeah. out on on on, on consoles because yes. I don't have a dirty, dirty PC. Absolutely. So, uh, but all right, so that's just one of a plethora, El plethora, Wapo, a plethora, plethora of games. All right, kick it off, buddy. All Let's right, go. so yeah, we got a lot to go over real quick. So uh, there's this uh, called Project Tower. I saw it's a first person shooter, but it looks like you can turn into like your a just tower? a regular. No, you turn no. into like, it looks almost like a xenomorph you turn into. It's like oh. legally distinct, but not, you <laughs> right, know, right. a xenomorph. So that this one has not sleek lines. Yeah. It's a it's third angular. person shooter. It, I don't know. Borderlands 4 was announced yeah. to officially. A, a very mixed crowd. Exactly. I watched the, I watched the, the, the film of that. It's just kind of like people are like, Hey, uh, you know, yeah, I think it's right. still too close to the bad taste in your mouth from the movie. I so. think the, the the hope was that the movie would be good, and then, and then they would a like, one like two fall, punch. Yeah, like the whole Fallout thing, where it's just like, oh, people are still nice on Fallout seventy six. Boggles my brain. I don't care. God, because new people I showed up. I can't even load my camp anymore half the time yeah, because right. of Me the too. show. So, yeah, yeah, there's so many people there. It's like, your camp is not available. We give you a free place. I'm like, Sh I don't want a free place. I want my place. Sorry. All right, continue, Scunji. <laughs> so uh, Civ 7 is coming out. Oh, and Elmer, it's coming Elmer, out Civ 7. on everything to start. It's not like it's coming ah. out on the dirty PC and then coming to consoles. Coming out to everything of course. Right. See, I like that. Yeah. That's, see, because yeah. I can't um, afford a, a fast running PC. This, I, I have, a, I have a, a computer laptop that I, no. I heart gave me. So, so I don't even think it has a graphics card. I saw this this game called Reanimal. Reanimal? It's made by the same people who did Little Nightmare. So I'm interested oh. in it because I really like Little Nightmare. Yeah. So that one looks cute. Um, oh, it looks that, like they're they're. It's called Mafia: The Old Country. Oh, so yeah. it's that Mafia series, but going to Sicily. Yeah, and pe people were generally confused because yeah. I remember watching that one. People were like, "Wait, what's going on? Oh, it's Mafia! It's Mafia!" Like, but it, like in the old. So I am really excited about that one. This is one I know you're going to be excited for because right. I know you're a fan of the Sniper Elite series. Yes, Sniper Elite Resistance, where you're playing the French Resistance. So you're not you're, so <laughs> so you're doing like sabotage and sneaking oh, and everything. Monsieur du Corbier, yeah. Vive Monsieur, la France! Exactly. <laughs> um, there's a sequel to uh, Journey to the Strange uh, Savage Planet called Revenge of the Stra uh, Savage Planet. If you haven't played this game, I think you can get it on a uh, Game Pass. Okay. It is stupid, silly fun. Not that not that long to play. It's it's, it's a lot of fun. Sidebar uh, uh, on Game Pass. I've been playing Dead Island too. Oh, oh my god! So like, it's it's. I love it. Uh, it only I, took I, I, I year, mean, like ten years to come out. No, right? But I mean, no, it, it's fun. I've been enjoying it, man. You know, and I, I'm playing the Irish chick, and she's all yeah. like, she says. F E C K, and uh, so like, and, and I, I'm I'm too scared to say it yeah. on the radio. But 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 my my 11 year old, he goes, you should use that word now instead, Dad. I'm like, nah, no, no. Nah. <laughs> so, but no, it's fun, yeah. and, and it's on Game Pass. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. It's on, on Game Pass. Um, Dude Awakenings is oh. an uh, online game that looks. I mean, the best way I can describe it, it looks almost like a Destiny, but okay. where you have like a, a camp building where you build like you build buildings and whatnot, and you uh. can have different mine resources and stuff. But it's a third person shooter. Okay, I, I don't. I don't so, have to like make sure all my citizens are no, happy. No, like, no, no, nothing like that. No, like, nothing screw like those that. people. I just like we need food. I'm like, go get some. Uh, Stop bothering me. I gotta go find my son. 
So, or my father, whichever it is, I don't know. He's old. Son. His son. <laughs> he's bit, but he's older he's than me now. He's an old now. He's an old man. Yeah, and he made bad choices, so I have to kill my son. Exactly. Bastard. All right, uh, continue. Indy. The Great Circle. Oh, the Circle of Life. Yes, it's, it's not coming. Not a triangle, yeah, not the it's square. A, it's, it's a, a circle. circle. Uh, they, come, they got a date. It's December 9th. Troy Baker is the voice oh. of Indiana Jones, which, I mean, you know what? It's not Harrison Ford, but he is one of the best voice actors in the business, so I, I have faith in it. And it looks like a lot. It looks like they, they did a really good job of just melding the puzzles together. And it looks like there's a lot of puzzles, so I'm already out. Yes, I, yes. I've tapped out. My, I, I'm not a smart man. So I'm, That's why I'm in radio. This is for your son. Oh. Uh, coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you could play as the crow, Stella Scar, the, the, new, the new crow. Oh, wow. my <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. They, they really were hoping for some good yeah. things from these movies, which we know are not going to be good. <laughs> and, and then I know I know you got to go to break. <laughs> the last thing. Okay. I can't make this up. A I squirrel saw, with a gun? A squirrel <laughs> with a gun is the name of this game. It is literally a squirrel with guns. It ran around, and it's like it's standing on this dude's head and fires a rocket launcher into this dude's head. Huh. It's... It looks so stupid and silly, and I'm buying it day one. <laughs> there you go. All right, so there. I'm sure there's, there's, so, a, much there's more. so much more. We, we can we can bring it up next week as well. Yeah. It's not like we have to, you know. We can do whatever the hell we want. Yeah, exactly. It's our show. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, so uh, when we come back, Lucy Ferry, we're going to talk about Anime Conclave, your inaugural event. Yeah, first one, first one. There we Ooh, go. New All con, right. new, I, I know, con, new con, new con, new con. New con scent. All right, <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk to Lucy Ferry, and then we'll wrap up tonight's show with Ronda Rousey. This is The Week in Geek with D-Squared on News Talk 99.5 WRNO. What up, Owen? Hey, Owen! Serving the Louisiana hobby and games community for over 12 years, Go For Games has prided itself on offering the very best in personalized customer service, unique experience-based events, and premium amenities for our Go For Academy members, such as After Hours Private Gaming Space, Full Immersion RPG Room, Rotating Board Game Library, and coming soon a video game arcade. So join the Go For community at 4953 West Napoleon Avenue. For more info, go to goforgamesnola.com or the Go For Discord. Go For Games, where you got games. This is Kate Mulgrew for The Week in Geek. Just kidding. It's Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, the major from Ghost in the Shell. Listen, or the Tachikomas are going to get you. Welcome back in to The Week in Geek, your source for geek and pop culture news that's trending now. I'm your host, D Squared, along with... Scungy. And now we have our guest, Lucy Ferry, showrunner of Anime Conclave, coming up in 20 days? Yeah, 20 days. 20 days, September wow. 14th and 15th at the Sheraton, not the Quality Inn, yes, where yeah. we probably still are not allowed in the building, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> yeah, I'm, they're, I'm, we're I'm like assuming. arrest on site. Uh, you know, and, and who was uh, 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 the, the guy with the leather jacket, the, the, the SFX guy, he did... Uh, the, the, Tom Savini. Tom Savini. I got so drunk with Tom Savini, and, and we got in so much trouble. Like, like, yeah, like, like Tom Savini, and I almost got kicked out of the, of the hotel. I was in an elevator in between him and James Hong. No. And then Tom Savini goes, sitting there and goes, because I'm bringing them both up the con ops. And he's like, <laughs> I loved you in Blade Runner to James Hong. And I'm like, squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> so the Sheraton is right there by the gallery. What's the name of the street again? Yeah, it's uh, Gallery of Four Boulevard. Ah, that's there yes, you go. So, that's, yeah, so behind the quality in right by the gallery. Right, where, right where, next where door, we used to play gallery? vampire. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. And then, then, then I used to work at Premier yeah. Athletic Club yeah. in the gallery, and now it's WGNO Studios. Uh, but now, now we're just rambling. Yes, yeah, all right. So, Anime Conclave. This is the very first one, the inaugural event. You had this brainchild. Are you a sadist? Why are you doing this? I, I mean, I must be. But um, honestly, I mean, wouldn't I be a masochist? I don't know. One or the other. I'm not sure. I'm not masochist, in either Masochist, you like to take it. Sadist, you, sadist, you give it. I See, can't say. Oh, clearly okay. Scudgy knows what's up. Because it's I based don't. off the Marquis de Sade. Learn your history. No. I, I, people are weird, man. You say anything like that, they're like, I have a whip. I'm like, good. Yay mm. for you. All right. I'm sorry. Where no, were we? You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> 
I was just going to say I can't take uh, full responsibility for it. Okay. Um, I founded it uh, at Conclave with uh, my best friend in high school, uh, my friend Ron. Okay. You know, we've been going to conventions for a really long time. You know, I've got family in conventions with, you know, my grandfather helping out with CoastCon and yep. then my mom and her friends and, you know, Spongy, you know, helping and doing uh, ContraFlow. Yeah, oh God, Contra I Flow. miss ContraFlow. So, yeah, and ContraFlow's gone. And so, like, they, like, there's a hole in the calendar. I mean, when we were coming up, it's they probably had coming back. Crescent it's City pro- Con. Uh, what was don't it? Play, no, don't play with my emotions. I, yeah, right. Don't, don't tease it. <laughs> but, like, Nossif and, 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 and Saga. And, and Sa- oh, yeah, Saga. But, yeah, Crescent City Con. I mean, when Crescent City Con ended, it was I mean, every three months, at least, at least every three months, there was a con. Right. And, mm-hmm. and, and so now that, that, uh, MechaCon ha- has stopped, I mean, we yeah. had Wasabi Con, but that's not, that's not local. Local. I mean, Russo was was local. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, he he was here, uh, and it's not the big box shows with yeah. with Wizard World where it's just like, hey, we got all these celebrities. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg, you know. But no, so this is this is kind of going back to the roots, right? This is about exactly. fans and anime. I I like uh, I like the community of okay. like the kind of conventions that I was going to when I was younger, and you know, like my mom used to say, you know, before the internet. <laughs> Truth. Before the internet, right. conventions were like one of the only places you could really connect. And yeah, meet, absolutely. You know, like-minded friends, people who like the same things you did. Or uh, shirts, because exactly. you, 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 couldn't, yeah. you couldn't get any of those shirts anywhere. Now oh, you absolutely. go to Walmart and be yeah. like, oh, here you go. But, I mean, no. It's a Kaizen t-shirt. Yeah. yeah, right. You can go anywhere and get that stuff. But, I mean, but that... The people, really, because, you know, like, like there were people I wouldn't see except once a year, like mm-hmm. Coast Con or whatever. And so, uh, but no, so, so talk a little bit about, like, what this con is covering, though. Like, it's, it's, an, uh, anime is a very encompassing yeah. word. So, um, we kind of want to celebrate a lot of Japanese pop culture as well, not just anime. Okay. Um, we are mainly focused, you know, gaming wise, like tabletop, Ooh. TCG. Uh, one of our Here partners, yeah, one of our partners is Pandemonium Gaming. Oh, I know that. Yeah, they're running. They're running our uh, tabletop area. We'll also have like you oh, know a bells. board game, free board game library. But uh. um, they'll be doing um, you know licensed tournaments. They'll be doing uh, One Piece, Yu Gi Oh, Pokemon, and Lorcana. Oh, any of that the D- Disney. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, even, I I saw those cards at Walmart now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Man. All right, stuff stuff so much more accessible than it used to be. So now we can play. We can we can we don't have to work. We can go to the con and actually play a board game. That's a yeah. We did that like we, at, at CypherCon. Con. Yeah, that's the last time. That was like that's six months terrible. Ago. Me and him actually go to a con and like you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play a board yeah. game. <laughs> Normally, we gotta walk around and kiss hands, shake babies. Yeah, uh, strike that, Wait. reverse it. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, all right. Anime Conclave September fourteenth and fifteenth. So we got we got the gaming covered. Now you're saying you want to talk about you know like like all the, the pop culture stuff. Uh, like like what is it? Are we, are we going to listen to K-pop music or, or? So I actually do have quite a few performing groups. Some oh are, no way! Um, Shut up. Made cafes. I also have you know a lot of it's like dancing. Uh, I've got like docs. I've got the Bittersweet Idol Project. Um, and a lot of these guys are going to be dancing and putting on shows. I've also That's got awesome. um, Anime Sundays, who's is a YouTuber, okay. an anime reviewer. He also does cosplay. Um, I've got two cosplay guests, um, Kage Cosplays and Molly Mayhem. Hey, uh, hey, guests. hey no yeah, Molly! Yeah, guys, guests. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we've got... We're, we're going to be in a wedding with her. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> we got to start getting... We got to get her. I know, I know. We got we to get <laughs> in touch with them. Yeah. Sorry. No, <laughs> Squirrel. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, but I've got a pretty large variety in terms of like paneling, programming. There's going to be, you know, a uh, small party scene, you know. All right. Um, we'll small. Def- small. Small. Small, small, small. First year. Let's not. Uh, uh, that's what I'm right. Let's not get kicked out of the hotel the no, first please, year. God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. We'll, all right, we'll be fine. on our best we, behavior. Yeah, we'll, we'll behave for once. But all right, so so let's talk about. You know, you've got the, the cosplay guests, and, and you've got a lot of the groups. So wh- what's kind of like the programming look like? Like uh, it's a two day con. So mm-hmm. what's starting on Saturday and what's happening on Sundays? So let's start with, with Saturday. So Saturday is absolutely jam packed. I think I have a performance um, from. All of my groups, all of my dance groups. I've uh, also got um, a mixed martial arts presentation <gasps> as well. Um, I can wear my Cobra Kai shirt this you weekend. Totally could. I could. You totally like, could. I could. I'd be like, yeah, baby. Um, you don't know how to throw a punch or a kick? I did. 
Yeah. Dude, I took karate when I was in high school because <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have like five pairs of psi. Mm-hmm. I almost lost an eye. Mm-hmm. Believe me, I, I know. I made it to a green belt. Okay. Don't, don't mess with me. I will punch. I will throat punch you if I can find sure. it under that shaggy beard of yours. You can <laughs> you can see Scunji's shaggy beard on our Facebook channel, The Week in Geek, right now. Yes. All right. There Sorry. Go. Continue. No, you're good. So Saturday. Um, I've got uh, a costume contest. Uh, as well as we'll be doing like karaoke, partying. Um, we've got nothing a more lot Japanese of... than karaoke. karaoke. Yeah, honestly, we've got. Uh, <laughs> it's awesome. We've got a lot of. Uh, we've got some Lolita paneling, things like that. Stuff focusing on costume design, three um, D printing. Ooh. Um, mm. And then on Sunday, I'm also going to be having. You know, I think that's more with closing ceremonies. I'm going to be having. All of my dance groups perform okay. again, you know, yeah. as well as having their own stuff, um, their own private shows going on. Right. Um, God, what else? What else? Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> you, you, well, you and I were so talking much. on the phone when we were setting up this interview, mm-hmm. and it, it was funny. Like when Skunge and I were coming up. There, there would be like one girl for every like twenty dudes, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it was yeah, awful. Uh, well, I mean, it, but it wasn't. There was nothing there for girls, really. Yeah. You know? And 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 if 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 girls did like it, they were kind of frowned upon. You know, like they're like, you're not a real fan. It's like you know, it's like like, like Metallica. We name four songs, but I mean, Can't but even or they have a like a, shirt or, without or, being asked a question. Right, right. Yeah. Or they have like a hundred guys hovering around them because they were the one girl there yeah, right, and they couldn't right. didn't have a minute of peace. Mm-hmm, but but mm-hmm. now like like you know we, we we've seen all the cosplay guests and you know cosplay is not consent and we just like because we weeded out the weirdos. Yeah, too, it took a while, but like, yeah. Hey, you know, like no, don't touch a freaking weirdo. But but now, I mean, like the, it's so much more. Everybody's involved. Everybody's there. It's just like if you're if you're weird, just come to a con because you will find your people. And like you walk in, say, sure. ah, these are my people. Yes. You know? My people. That's that's something that that I think you being a new show and and and. There is there are more people that are willing to come to these shows now and, and kind of offering something like this is is, is especially on a local level, it, it it's it it fits the need. I mean it, yeah. it fill it fills a hole because there's not a lot of whole lot local stuff right now. So I mean, you know, yeah, exactly. and, and props to you because I ain't doing that damn yeah. stuff, man. It, you know, and I'd say this is for that. This is a good time. <laughs> this is a good time for it because you still it's not gonna be too cold, but it's not gonna be to out, you pass the summer. Oh, is that like the perfect date where you, you know, it's yes. not too hot, it's not yeah. too cold? All right, well, mis- dude, all right, I mis- mean, congeniality. Dude, remember, they used to have some of the best conventions were either in the spring or at the fall. Yeah, right. You know, so I, th- I think you got a good yeah, good yeah. time frame there. Summer sucks, it's hot. Yes. Yeah, because then when you drink too much, you just, it's like, yeah, you yeah, like MechaCon at the end of July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't drink at MechaCon, though. Yeah, you did. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I drank at the table like a, like a true alcoholic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I hid the Jack Daniels under the table. What are you drinking? Northern Diet Coke. What are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> so, sorry. Where can people get more information? Like social media links, website, um, everything. So, my website has everything on it, um, animeconclave.com. And, I mean, we post pretty regularly on our Instagram, I would say. Okay. Definitely is the most... Yeah, the, the kids are really into the Instagram. Yeah, the they like they like the Tiki Talks, the Tiki Talks, and the Instagrams. All right, so uh, you got one day passes, two day passes. Uh, how how, yeah, how much for everything? Days, I've got weekends. Okay, how, how much is just like a Saturday or just a Sunday? I mean, um, a one day pass is going to be twenty five. Damn, that's cheap. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a one day is twenty five, and then uh, it is fifty for the two day. Okay. And how how long is the con open on uh, Saturday? Oh, yeah. and good, Sunday? good question. Good, good answer. So uh, <laughs> on Saturday, our programming officially starts for eleven thirty, but um, doors open for registration as early as ten thirty. Okay. Um, and then we have to have everything shut down by eleven p.m. Okay. So we'll have stuff all the way up until that point. Okay. And then on Sunday, we will open at ten thirty, and all of my um, main scheduled programming will end at five. Oh, well, still it's good. Yeah, no, nice I, little run. No, look, it, it, starting off with just like a, a weekend. I mean, you know, who what was it? Crescent City Con used to be, was the one day affordable. Yeah, it used con. to be one day Saturday. You know, that was it. I mean, look, uh, you know, I, 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 they had Nola Time Fest. You know, and it went on for like four yeah. or five years. It's like it got too mm-hmm. big. I don't want to yeah. do it. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you this: then, if, if it gets too big, you're going to keep doing it, though. Uh, don't I don't think you so. tease us. I think don't, so, but yeah. I'd probably get more staff. 
<laughs> well, yeah, that, well, yeah. Volunteers and staff them. make the world go round. The gophers, the gophers yeah. of bones. the world unite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor gophers. We were slaves. Oh, God. We, we, we were <laughs> indentured servants. We were fed coffee and pizza. That yeah, was literally. Like, literally. Yeah, we had the horse it. brutality suite yeah. where you can get some 10 day old nachos. nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and that nacho cheese that has the, the, the little film on it. It's like. Yeah. Well, I haven't eaten in three days, so sure. That's, you know, that's, that's when you go when you're 15 and you're yeah. like, I have $4 to last me <laughs> till Sunday, and it's Friday at 2 p.m. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Lucy Ferry, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. All right, Anime Conclave, yep. the Sheraton, September 14th and 15th, so uh, get your tickets now. And uh, when we come back, Scungy's going to get armbarred by Ronda Rousey. She's just right outside the door, Scungy. Oh, Be careful. And this is a bad thing? What? <laughs> Leanne, I have no control over this, man. I, I apologize. <laughs> I hope your wife kicks your ass tonight. All right, oh, just this all time. is the Weekend Geek with D-Squared on News Talk 99.5 WRNU. Listen to WRNO on the iHeartRadio app. Sponsored by Dudley DeVosier Injury Lawyers. Call 444-4444. That's 444-4444. Non-attorney spokesperson Chad Dudley, New Orleans. My name is Optimus Prime, and you are listening to The Weekend Geek. Autobots... Transform and roll out. Welcome back in to the Week in Geek, your source for geek and pop culture news that's trending now. I'm your host, D Squared. Let's go to the guest line. Almost fresh out of San Diego Comic Con, UFC WWE champ, and now graphic novel writer Ronda Rousey joins us. Ronda, what's happening? Oh, you know, I'm just reveling in my new title of being a, an accepted geek. So thank you for having me. So, all right, so let's talk about your new graphic novel that's still on Kickstarter that you can still get out there and back. Expecting the unexpected. Talk a little bit about your gra- graphic novel. Um, well, it's kind of like, I would describe it as knocked up meets John Wick. <laughs> and it's a romantic comedy, you know, martial arts action adventure, something that, that the world needs more of, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, it's about a, a mom. Well, I, her, she's an assassin whose code name is mom because she keeps all of her, you know, guns and ammo in a fake pregnant belly like Desperado suitcase. <laughs> and then she, you know, accidentally ends up pregnant and uh, has to deal with, all of the, you know, insecurities that come with trying to, to be, to bring a child into a hostile world with everyone trying to kill you, of course. And, and so apparently you hooked up with a fellow assassin, so that just kind of makes everything worse. But you've got some amazing artists with, with you, like Mike Diodato and, and, and Frank Cho. I mean, like, like, how did you get these guys on board, man? Um, it was actually be, because of uh, Axel Alonso, who was the former um, editor in chief of Marvel. He went off to to do his own thing with uh, AWA Comics, and he read the script. He loved it. He's the one that hooked me up with uh, Mike Diodato and Craig Cho and Raza, and they all love the story. They've made some uh, um, some incredible covers for it that are exclusive only to this Kickstarter. So. If you want to go to the the link in my Instagram bio and back it, we're already triple our goal, and hopefully this is the the first of many. Well, you know, and and, and that, I wanted to talk about the Kickstarter too because uh, I mean it starts at twenty bucks for like like the digital version, but then it goes on from there. But also, I mean, you've you've got cool little add-ons like like a little Zoom meeting with you and and, and some of the, the the writers, and then also uh, you you and your husband are gonna like kick the crap out of somebody if they win. What's, what's going on with that? Oh, I mean, we're offering private MMA lessons, <laughs> but uh, also um, you can get drawn in as an extra or an assassin. So you could be immortalized in this comic and drawn by Mike Diodato himself, which I think is one of the coolest rewards. So now another thing, you're kind of going for a lot of like the, the, the realism in the fight. Like, like how did you choreograph this with the artist while you were making this? Yeah, I choreographed it and uh, filmed it with a with a couple friends of mine in uh, Santino Bros Wrestling, a little local place around here. And um, we send we sent the the footage to Mike Diodato and break it down into 
um, the screenshots and so all the different panels to try and create um, what we feel is the most um, realistic grappling sequences and the completely new, unique fighting styles of comic. So uh, how many arm bars uh, show up in the, in the novel? Um, there are definitely quite a few, you know, <laughs> but to me, they're, they're all, they're all very different. You know, every arm bar is different to me. So if you're, if you're a real martial arts nurse, then, then you'll see it's not just the same arm bar over and over. They're all unique entries and applications. We're, we're visiting with WWE champ, UFC champ, Rodney, Ronda Rousey is with us, uh, expecting the unexpected still on Kickstarter, uh, was this your first San Diego Comic Con? Because like I've still yet to go, and I've been I've been doing this crap for like almost fifteen years now at this point. And I still ain't made it out there. Uh, how, how was it? Oh, it was so cool. I only got to, I didn't get to like go around and uh, see see the whole event. So I tried to go before and disguise myself as Samus, but the <laughs> the costume never really came together. So um, hopefully, my, my dream is one day to go in, like, full cosplay where no one can recognize me and be able to, like, just go and, and see the whole event and just be a fan. So, hey, uh, sidebar, uh, Gina Carano, like, I, I read that you would be willing to come out of retirement to take her on. Uh, would you, like, what, what were your thoughts when Gina got, got axed from The Mandalorian? I know it was kind of maybe not in your wheelhouse, but I, I just figured I'd ask because I'm like, she, she is kind of like, you know, she was there. What, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I just feel like it's, it's so unfortunate. And she was like, not even on, you know, she was really rec- reclusive on social media and Instagram and all of that. And then just started using it all of a sudden. And, um, man, I, uh, I mean, I've definitely made some mistakes and posted some dumb stuff. And I, I really hope that, you know, um, she she comes back from this somehow because I I'm so grateful to to her that I literally came up walking in 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 the footsteps that she carved into MMA. You know, Strike Force would, uh, wouldn't have had women. Um, there wouldn't have been the things in place for me to come up um, back then. So. Um, you know, I, I really hope that, that she, she turns things around and, and, and finds a way back, back into the industry because I'm, I'm so grateful to her, but you know, everybody makes mistakes and, um, I, I just, I just hope that she finds a way to, to get a second chance. I couldn't agree with you more because I mean, like her character was so badass. So that's, 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 that's what it is. But expecting the unexpected get to Kickstarter now. There's only, I don't even know. There's only like seven days left, but I'm not even sure how many days are left now at this point. Back it, get it. There's one week left. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is your chance. Well, no, never these, even when it comes to print, these editions will never be available again. That is awesome. That is Ronda Rousey. Ronda, thank you so much. Wish you the best of luck at moving on in your future. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. So, uh, all right. So, uh, I forgot what I was about to just say. You were what? talking about <laughs> Rangers, the Space Rangers. Oh, Space Rangers. So yes. I wanted Gina Carano to do the Space Rangers. Like, I wanted that show. You know, I did. I did. And I wanted to see if she could still crack walnuts with those thighs. They were just on those thighs. <laughs> I, look, I'm just saying what look, I, look, I, I remember her from Command and Conquer. She was the cover oh. girl from Co- Red Alert. Was she? Oh, my yes, she God. Was. I forgot all about that. All right, so that was Ronda Rousey. Un- expecting the unexpected. There's only like two days left yeah. in the Kickstarter because I interviewed her on Wednesday of last week. So okay. we got two more days. And it starts at like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Yeah, you know, bad. so 20 bucks for the digital copy, 25 for the physical copy. That ain't, and, okay. and yeah, it's already been like uh Three times overfunded, so nice. they're, they're good to go. And they got all kinds of cool ass stuff. All right, so uh want to thank uh, Lucy Ferry for joining us. Yeah, Anime you. Conclave, September 14th new and con. 15th. I know new, it's going to have that new con smell. Yeah. It's going right. to smell like Sheraton Pocky Metairie. and hot yeah. glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and deodorant. And, and yes, deodorant. Please. That- wear your deodorant. I, if you, you know, can afford you to go to there. That. I don't think you have to say that. I, 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 I'm, if you can afford tickets to a con. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll we'll just go with that. I, I'm just saying she probably has a higher class of people going to this con than us. Just say it. Oh, oh. You stink. They oh. probably don't. Just, just say it. She's the one who said deodorant first. I did say All right. I'm Deodorant. following right, her hold, lead. Hold on. I, I got I got to tell you who we have on next week. All right. So uh, next week we got uh, Lauren Lapkus. Lauren Lapkus from uh, the other Missy. 
you know, with David Spade. Oh, my God. But she's done a whole bunch of other stuff. And I got the guy from the Pentagon who told us about UFOs. Oh, yeah, I remember that dude. (laughs) He was a sensation. Now he's going to be on the show. So apparently his 15 minutes of fame are up. All right. (laughs) Till next time. Keep your nerd flag race high. WRNO FM, New Orleans, an iHeart Radio station. Listen on the free iHeart Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good.